Welcome to the All-in-One PC integration video for the Webtec A23 All-in-One PC chassis. In this concise video, we will cover the key steps that apply to integrating, servicing and upgrading this All-in-One PC. This includes opening the chassis, installing the desktop board, connecting internal peripherals and cables, configuring the LCD panel and direction for further component choices. This system includes a chassis with stand, power supply unit, cables, thermal conductive pad and various fasteners. Place the system face down on a non-scratch surface. Remove the nine rear cover screws. Remove the optical drive cover plate and remove two more screws underneath it on the chassis edge. Now remove the back cover. Where shown, attach the thermal solution retention plate and thermal conductive pad securely on the underside of the desktop board. Carefully integrate the components in an electrostatic safe environment using the correct and appropriately sized tools. Make sure you install the IO shield the correct way up. Install the desktop board and fasten it securely into the chassis. Slide the optical drive into the chassis and fasten the single retention screw at the rear of the drive. Slot the hard drive and carrier into the chassis, sliding it under the locking tab and fastening the two retention screws. Connect a flat end of the SATA power cable to the hard drive and elbow end to the desktop board. Connect the second flat end to the optical drive. Now connect the SATA data cable to the hard drive and elbow end to the desktop board. Do the same for the optical drive. It is recommended that you plan your cable routing before connecting the headers on the desktop board. Connect the USB camera cable and the CPU fan cable. Connect the front panel switch cable and the LVDS cable, which you can ease into place with the tip of a small screwdriver as shown. Connect the front panel display cable, the single USB cable, the speaker cable, connect the system fan, connect both wireless antenna cables. Set the correct backlight inverter and LCD panel voltage with the correct jumper settings as shown. Install the thermal solution and fasten the four screws that secure it to the desktop board. Replace the rear cover and the nine screws that fasten it. Now that you have completed the hardware integration process, the system is ready to be powered on. Connect the power supply to a compatible outlet. Lastly, configure the BIOS for optimum use of the LCD panel. Integrating an all-in-one PC gives you the freedom to choose components that meet specific customer needs. Choose a thin mini ITX desktop board with Intel third generation core processors to enable a great computing experience. For this all-in-one system, the thermal solution is included. Add the correct storage, memory and wireless components to complete your design. Thank you for watching this all-in-one PC integration video. For more information, please consult the documentation supplied with the system and the desktop board as well as the web link provided. 